Good evening everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is the Hustling Muscle Show. Yes, the pump is high. I've just finished my workout. So it's a post-workout pump, which is always the best. And today I am going to be joined by Dr. Parikh. I will introduce, give you all the information. Let me first invite him. And we are talking about the mind and fitness. So I hope you guys have a very nice session. So let me just invite Dr. Parikh without any delay. I've waved out to him. Let me send out a request. And yes. I see Dr. Parikh. Good evening, Dr. Hello. Parikh. Thank you so evening, much for joining in the Hustling Muscle Show. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me over. Thank oh, you so it, much. It's a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll start with saying this. Your fitness is 100% mental. Your body won't go where your mind doesn't push it to. Ladies and gentlemen, today I have Dr. Parak. Dr. Parak is a dentist by profession, is an, uh, is an artist, is a healer by passion. He is a counseling psychologist and art therapist. He's also trained in pranic healing, color therapy, silver technique and life coaching. The list goes on. So, you know, we have somebody very, very talented. This is the first time I'm having somebody absolutely different come in. So I'm really excited about this. He primarily focuses on helping clients lead a better lifestyle through holistic wellness. Uh, he integrates various forms of therapies like talk therapy, art therapy, with an aim to understand the root problem and solve it. I am sure today post our session, we guys are going to learn some amazing stuff from him. We always learn with Dr. Mukherjee, with Gaurishan Gote and the other guests that I keep having. But today I'm sure with Dr. Parak and the topic that we're talking, mind and fitness, we're going to take back something really amazing. So Dr. Parak, again, thank you so much for joining the Hustling Muscle Show. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for the, and the wonderful enthusiasm I can see. I'm really excited for this session. So, I, I'm, I'm absolutely, you know, happy, excited. I'm like, I've been wanting to do this and, you know, I'm very happy you came in. So before we start, you, you have an academy. I want you to give a right. small introduction to people about that, what it is. Let's start with that. All right. So basically, uh, let me give you a little brief about how I started because, uh, so essentially I have done my master's in dentistry in 2013. So I actually was practicing dentistry 24-7. But then I had this desire to help people. And I think that was not happening enough to the dental work, you know, because I saw people having so many day to day problems. My, my own experiences taught me a lot of things. And that's when I made a shift that you know, I wanted to have a second career in, in the world of counseling psychology as well. And then I got trained, of course, in a lot of modalities. And that's how the Thinking Palette Academy came into being. So our sole purpose is basically to, you know, empower people. You know, we all need a little push. We all need a little push. And if we get the right push, I think we can really reach and cross a lot of miles. So that's that's the whole purpose of, you know, starting the academy. And we wanted to make it very accessible for people. So we even even have these uh, very you know, nominal courses that we offer so that, you know, people can re get access to them. Uh, we also offer counseling and coaching services. Uh, we have one is to one and group services also available. So we, we do a lot of work primarily with the intention of, you know, helping clients with their day to day problems from stress, anxiety, uh, you know, not knowing what they want in life, you know, finding that purpose. So there are various, so various things that we look at, but the idea and the, the approach definitely remain with the, you know, with the concept of empowerment. Uh, I think strong words are the empowerment. And what I really like there is that little push. You know, we always require that little push in life to, you know, reach beyond something. You know, at times, even I take in fitness, you know, when you get stuck on a plateau, you need that little push. So, you know, doctor, what you're doing out there is really amazing. People require that push. And I think it's you're doing it in a very noble way. So hats off to you, you and your team, doctor. Now, moving to my, going to my very first question. Uh, okay, mind... I think I've just lost the connection. Just give me one second. No problem. We hold. Yeah, I can hear you, but I think the video is stuck. So I don't know. It's probably my internet that seems to be giving an issue. Okay, I can see you clearly. So, uh, I, okay, yeah. Anyway, that's fine. Okay, then so, I move. So to... please, please go ahead. So the first question: the mind and fitness. What is the connection? How important is it for us to have a strong mindset when it comes to fitness? So, you know, when we talk about fitness, the first thing that people always assume is that we're always talking only about the body. 
but we forget that the body doesn't function if the mind doesn't function right it's they go in synchronicity if you if you're trying to exercise you're doing all the things you're trying to keep yourself healthy but if you're not healthy in this state then whatever you do your body is not going to respond you know it's always going to stay back or it's going to revert back to the original state because that how that's how your body and your mind work together let me give you a very simple example okay why why the mind is very responsible you go to sleep right once you go to sleep your body is still functioning right you don't know what's happening but your body is still functioning what's operating your body it's it's over here right it's your mind that's operating your body and did you know that most of our repair work our, our muscle growth everything actually happens in a night time because that's when the repair work actually happens so if your mind's not working your body is not going to do its job it's as simple as that so if 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 we are not taking care of our mind our stress levels are high our stress hormones are high our you know our body's uh, uh, immunity decreases so if you want to look at fitness if you want to improve your health in any way it is a mind body connection so we in fact i say the mind body soul connection because i even look at a deeper aspect that is just not your you know your mind you actually need to look at something that's even beyond you when when i talk about fitness so when you're fit you need to be mentally physically emotionally and spiritually fit well that's that's very beautifully said you know as you said the repair work what we technically call in the fitness language is muscle recovery i know my friends are going to be watching this later when i upload this when we say muscle recovery that happens at night and we know how important muscle recovery is so doctor what you've said is absolutely bang on so to the next question doctor many a times obesity starts taking a hit on a personality when we start putting on that weight we are not able to control it we start getting irritated angry how does one tackle this because i have been through this i you know did not take help or did not do this much later on i as as you you must have seen my stories from where i'm coming from the 46 way side Absolutely. to where i am so you know it, it has taken time so you know what, how do you take this how do you explain this to people doctor so the first thing that i always explain about obesity is that you know a lot of times that we do tend to put on weight is because we are actually not able to fulfill our emotional needs that is a very very uh, significant reason why we do have these weight issues okay we do not realize it but a lot of times we are either trying to suppress our our uh, emotions in some manner or or you know we are questioning our self worth in some manner and the food may often at times serve as a substitute you know as a comfort in those times so it's very very important to understand that your your you know your health is directly affected by your emotions and the reverse also is true so the once that cycle starts that once you start gaining that weight it it seems to build up right it see, it it just seems to keep building up more and more and then you start getting comments from outside you know what is happening what's happening you know or you start comparing yourself with other people and then you realize that you're not you're not able to do anything about it even if you say suppose you start okay you start putting in some effort to lose weight but if you not that push is not there that help is not there and you tend to come back to the original situation you're only making it worse and all this suppressed emotion leads to hostility irritability uh, you know mood disorders there are a lot of factors that come into picture so understanding that your obesity is an external representation of what is actually going inside you is very very necessary you know before we can just tackle the physical aspect of it the mental component is is also equally important because it is actually affecting your day to day life without even you realizing it so we we'll often see clients with uh, you know obesity having severe self esteem issues they really feel a lack of confidence or or they tend to get very easily irritable also because they are not able to understand what they are feeling so they they go into this defensive mode very very quickly and that comes out as you know uh, as anger or that comes out as some sort of a negative emotion but it is nothing but a self defense that fat is actually in our in our language like you know if you if you read this wonderful book called you can heal your life by louis hay you'd actually come to know all that fat is basically like a protection layer you are you're building that protection layer around you because you don't want to process what's inside so it's very important to understand all of it when we even talking about obesity and the cycle that it starts it's like it starts and it goes on and then keeps building on so unless we break that loop somewhere we actually put a hard stop 
we can't get over it so like i i know that you have actually put in the effort you can you know you really put in the effort because at one point you realize i want to do something you decided to put that hard stop to it you know and then you sought the help so that's very very important no what you're saying is ab- absolutely right because i remember see i have always been a heavy chubby <coughs> kid even as a young adult i was on the heavy side but i was somewhere on 38 40 waist i could carry myself well i could take myself forward but when i started hitting that barrier of 44 and 46 is when i started wearing loose clothes as a, you know self defense because when i would sit you could see my stomach coming out and that's something i did not like and as you said you know i would be defensive now yesterday we had a session with dr mukherjee where we were talking about hereditary diseases and about fitness where i said i used you know since my family is been on the obese side on the heavy side i used to tell people it's in our blood you know we all are like this i can't do anything but that was just an excuse i was giving it was just that a is, defense mechanism as you were saying honestly today i stand as a representative i say no that's not true if you put in the effort if you put in the hard work you can but yes as you said we need help we need that push from people like you and experts like you so people out there if you're listening i would be talking more on the help and expert but yes keep in mind you all everybody needs help even i need it we all are nobody's perfect so when you need help ask for help now moving on the same note to the next question when it comes to weight loss i believe the first thing this is on personal experience the first thing that one has to change is the attitude most of the time people say i know how to lose weight i know what has to be done but that doesn't work people are not ready to accept that they need help you know i made a reel on this yesterday i put it out that till i did not change that app attitude and accept i i need help i don't know what i'm doing yes i am a person who's worked in this industry i have been in gyms and fitness industry since the age of 17 but as a sales person i am not a fitness trainer i've always told people this i have been in and around some of the best experts i have learned things here and there but that doesn't make me a professional because i have not studied the entire subject i don't know what suits me the best till i did not accept no i need help and i went to experts that's when i started seeing a change the attitude change doctor doctor balak how would you explain this to people what is your take on this no absolutely so uh, your attitude drives your aptitude in a lot of way because you you will do something only when you first of all acknowledge it so when you're talking about you know weight in the sense when i told you so from the mental health perspective we always look at anything and in any fitness as as nothing but you know a lot of suppressed emotion which is not been processed so when the attitude is that you know there's nothing wrong with me i don't need help that's exactly what i said we put up this barrier around us we put up this wall around us because a we've undergone something called as body shaming very very likely okay body shaming is where you know you've heard about someone saying something to you or you even looked at at celebrities or, or you looked at the ideal role models in some way and you think why do i not have that and you start self talk also so a lot of internal self talk also starts coming into picture and all of this needs to be looked at the problem is asking for help is always the first and the most difficult step it, and it's not just for for fitness i think for any situation because we feel that somewhere or the other we are lacking when we ask for help so the attitude comes that we you know in some way we do we are not good enough you know we're not worthy enough so that's why we have to ask for help but honestly asking for help is the most courageous thing that we can do it's actually you know it it shows that you re- recognize that there is there is a potential to improve you recognize that there is a potential to change so uh, i always say that when it comes to anything first start by talking to someone you trust okay it's very important to try to start talking to someone you trust you don't need to necessarily go to the uh, you know the the mental health expert you may not be able to approach the mental health expert or the physical health expert in the very first go but talk to someone when you talk take that first step then you might feel okay you know what i think okay he knows something but he doesn't know enough now let me actually go to the right people who can guide me you know so it's very very important like you said that the experts are called experts for a reason because they are trained in the field they have knowledge for the subject they understand the plus and they love understand the minus you know they understand the pros and cons so like you just said when it comes to attitude it's all about acknowledgement it's all about acceptance and then it's choice you know it's choosing to take the next step forward and and you know doing something about it so that's very very important but start with somebody you know 
that makes a lot of difference like start with somebody you trust rather than you know somebody you trust you know somebody who acknowledges you're there any support even a small support system makes a big difference that that's very true a support system somebody who comforts you somebody who understands you somebody who doesn't judge you maybe you know you can be guilt free because since we work with a lot of people when it comes to weight loss i have fitness trainers nutrition experts who work with them my first thing to them is understand whatever you talk to these experts is between you and them it doesn't come out they don't share this Absolutely. with anybody and don't don't think anybody is going to take you on a guilt trip you know especially because people i have had eating disorders and things like that we talk on that mm-hmm. but you know it's until the, i'm not open to them and you know have that confidence i'm not going to be, you know be able to show the results till i'm not honest till i'm not going to be so it's very important and guys here is where i again say help when you have enough people out there to help you dr parak is there experts are there they're experts for a reason reach out to them they will obviously help you they will give you the best plans they they they, they were open gates you know as i still really enjoyed what dr parak said that extra push you require that we all require that you know absolutely even though these two years i've been working out working out i still make minor mistakes i make major mistakes at times for today when i was doing a simple thing like a pull up i've started doing pull ups recently because i've got gained the strength right now but i was doing it wrong my my guru my one of my gurus came up and said you're doing it wrong do it this way he stood there corrected my this thing and i also with an open mind yes i learned it and everybody could see this guy who has this physique has this is still quietly listening to this person who's you know telling him because these are the people who have made me what i am today i have not become Absolutely. this on my own so always remember that an expert can give you that help now dr parik moving on to my next question certainly when we put on too much weight you tend to get into a depression you you know tend to cut off you know from the world at times you know people tend to eat more in the situation you know what can you suggest because i've gone through this. there was a time when i had reached when you know that 46 ways i cut off from the world i was staying absolutely indoors you know at times you know i was indulging more on food you know sticking you know just going to my comfort food which were not very healthy and you know so on and i remember my friends tried reaching out to me who knew i'm going through this and you know they tried explaining that come out there's some problem you you're not like this because i've always been the cheerful happy go lucky type and suddenly i took a dip in that attitude and i was just you know i would just put a fake smile and you know move around so i remember uh, one friend actually you know he, he remind me of the song by jagjit singh tum itna kyun muskura rahe ho kaun sa gham hai jo chupa rahe ho it fit in so well that time so you know i have gone through that phase but i somehow did not seek help as i said i started taking seeking help later what is your take what can you tell the viewers out there i know there are people who may be listening to this and have it so maybe you know what could you suggest to them so like like i've just been saying you know since the since the you know this life started that a lot of it is because of emotions you know a lot of this this factor is because of suppressed emotions which we are not able to process so we've undergone certain past experiences that have have led us to this situation maybe like you said belief system that your parents had it so you had it so all of this needs to be first of all understood that we are the results of what we thought you know so we 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 believe that we did not deserve it in some way that's how the weight sort of increase now when we did do not seek that help we do not seek that uh, necessary you know uh i would say comfort in some way we look at food for that you know as the alternative that's where the comfort food the word comes only the comfort food because it makes you feel warm it makes you feel good it makes you feel safe so you you start doing something like binge eating you start eating a lot of things together just to satisfy your need and fast food is available junk food is available so you start you know change your your food instead of healthier it shifts to that because that satisfies your hunger faster that makes you feel better it you know it causes a lot of hormonal fluctuation also but at the end of the day it's it's over here it's it's ultimately all in your mind you know if you honestly do not recognize what is happening till that time you're not going to seek help whatever you do because till the time you get that self awareness and a lot of times people do try to help you now that like i'm sure even you undergone that experience people do you just said people do try and approach you but you may not be ready at that stage of time so raising that mental health awareness while talking about physical fitness is also very very important that you know it is a synergy it is where you need to start changing your entire lifestyle you need to change your entire approach to life you know and 
start small i always say start small start somewhere but start when you start then the journey becomes much more easier you know it's a you have to start that first year you have to go into the first year and before you go to the fifth you have to go into the first year and that is the most difficult step gaadi udhar hi atak jati hai that's absolutely right we're going to try to cut gears it's just going to take a toll on the engine so i don't think you know as doc, he as dr parak has told you know it's very simple you can't just cut gear so that's very a very very good point so people out there if you're listening that's something to underline and take back as i said we're going to be taking back a lot of amazing knowledge from him and this is something he's given so please underline that and take it now dr parak the next question that i have how does fitness help us think better does it change the way we think and we behave so there is enough study to show that exercise has a lot of positive i mean any sort of physical activity in fact has a lot of positive uh, you know correlation with mental health and the reverse is also true so when we exercise more we can we reduce the anxiety levels we reduce our cortisol or stress levels we actually produce more serotonin which is you know our feel good hormone we start producing uh, we feel uh if you if you like exercising you start generating more dopamine so you feel more satisfied so the actual thing is that there are chemical changes that are happening in your body which are making that exercise actually improve your thinking improve your concentration improve your focus reduce that anxiety reduce that stress and keep you much more happier at the end of the day so definitely taking care of your body plays a very significant role in taking care of your mind and and that and that's how things work that's why we need to set time in the entire day to look after our body and look after our mind what we eat what we do how we you know a little bit of uh, like if you're sitting for 30 minutes just that 2 minutes of stretching makes a big difference it's as simple as that that's why i say you know start incorporating little bit of changes in your life and then you will start seeing much more changes it's not just about building muscle so i think a lot of things that also happens is that people always rate fitness is only you know a lot of muscle building but it's actually taking care of your body and your mind so you're you're actually becoming a better version of you at the end of the day that you know? is so true that is so true and i can you know vouch for that yes i have muscles i agree but that is a by product of what i do because for me weight training or lifting weights is like meditation i tell this to people it gives me my happiness those one and a half hour or you can know, one and a half 45 minutes that i spent in the gym with my gym buddies and people like that that's my peaceful place that's the place i go to unwind whatever my problems life issues i have they're all left at the doors of the gym when i enter till i exit you know put it back in my bag and take it but that to one one and a half whatever five minutes even my day has gone bad good whatever i enjoy it and i look forward to it you know I, that's something i don't miss so what dr parak has told you is so true it is just not about building muscles it's about so much more he's explained it in detail i could not go in that detail not can i repeat that but he's explained it so guys this is an other amazing thing you guys can take back so i hope people who are going to be rewatching this also please mark those words those are very very amazing stuff that he has told now finally dr parak i want to talk about mind fitness and eating disorder i think there is a core, you know it is related so you as Absolutely. an expert why don't you explain this to us so why do i always you know like to talk about eating disorders when it comes to fitness is because a lot of times especially in india it's not even diagnosed i mean it's not even looked at you know but there are situations when you do something you you actually have eating disorders like anorexia nervosa bulimia nervosa and binge eating these are the three we mean that we look at so you know you you might have now seen models of size 0 you want to be the absolutely perfectly fit you want to always remain slim so in fact they don't eat they don't take care of their body they think they're extreme they go for extreme fitness uh, you know measures but in the in the same thing they don't take care of the nutritional requirements of their body they don't actually take care of their health they tend to have higher amounts of uh, you know uh, immune disorders or low hemoglobin a lot of other factors when it comes to obesity or you know eating more so people also go into binge eating binge eating means they try to eat a lot of things in a very short span of time in bulimia nervosa you might eat a lot of things but then you tend to you know vomit and purposely vomit and remove it in some way now all of this could is is has a very high correlation with 
physical and mental fitness which is why it is necessary to mention and in india a lot of times this is not even spoken about because we don't know that people are actually experiencing this so we just think are bahut khata he just eats a lot but he could actually be doing emotional eating and we have not diagnosed it and then then we see that he is doing his exercise he is doing but the weight's never going down because we are again not looking at the mental part of it we are only looking at the physical part of it so it has to be a symbiosis it has to be a complete holistic approach whenever we're looking at fitness if your mind is fit you're going to put in the right amount of exercise you're going to change your lifestyle you're going to change your diet you're going to sleep better because sleep is also very very important you know for taking care of your health and once you start doing that even your mental health is going to improve because it's they are interrelated so understanding this and seeking help at the right stage of time getting the right diagnosis in case you are actually experiencing any of such symptoms where you are you know avoiding food or you are excessively eating food and not knowing why you are doing it especially like you you know you, some people say i just like to eat a lot but then when they look at they feel guilty that why did i eat so much and it seems to keep repeating again and again and again then definitely you do need to consider maybe speak to a counselor and speak to a mental health professional there could be something more than just your you know your interest in food so you know so even if you are exercising excessively that could also have potential you know risk so we need to take care whenever we're looking at a body and this everybody is different everyone has their own individual needs their own individual body their own individual minds so knowing your body knowing your mind helps quite a lot when it comes to fitness so that's that's what i always say first understand yourself ask yourself what your body needs and then give it what it really does this is so amazingly put firstly guys whoever is watching we have done a uh, videos we have done sessions with dr mukherjee and gaurishan gote on the diet and nutrition of celebrities the chiseled looks and all that we've explained it in detail today dr parekh has put in more light to that he's explained it in a little more technical manner we have explained you know we had done this video where we explained what are the workouts they do how it is how it impacts what not should be done because i remember this actress had put that she was working out for looking very slim in a particular music video and she fell ill but still was working out and she was absolutely staying hungry all this is not right you do not treat your body okay. like that you know absolutely. even dr parekh today has given you so much knowledge on this you don't treat your body like that you want to lose weight you want to look good there is a particular method understand their lifestyle is different our lifestyle is different we guys have to get up in the morning go to work we have to take care of things family all that our responsibilities are yeah so we need those nutrients very much are taking it out on food too less or too more is not the solution if you have Absolutely. that as an expert you have experts out there seek help dr parak this has been an amazing session now i would just say is there any message that you would like to give the audience before you know we sign off anything you would like to add and tell them so you know that's what i always say i i ask this one question you know uh where do you live i ask this question where do you live i'm sure you give me an answer where do you live we live in our body if i'm not wrong absolutely we live in our body right we live in our We're body we live in our minds <laughs> so so when we understand that it's not the location that matters it's this it's this you know then we start taking care of it more because then we actually understand that this is what's going to stay with us for the rest of our life at the end of the day your house may change your actual location may change but this isn't going to change so taking care of it is going to serve you for the rest of your life so that's the only message that i want to give take care of your mind take care of your body take care of yourself because taking care of yourself is going to serve you in a long long way Well, that's so amazing. That's, 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 that's really amazing, Doctor Parak. I think that's an amazing one of the best punchlines I've got till now by any guest that I've had. So I, I, I really like that. So, guys, my punchline actually, you know, I was gonna say on help, but I've already said there is help out there. Seek it. Don't feel shy. You, you want to lose weight. You want to have a fit mind. Whatever there are, there is everybody. You have experts like Doctor Parak and so many other guys. Take that help. Seek that help. Don't think twice. We all are there. Nobody is gonna judge you. and you know Absolutely. at the moment since this i'm just giving this since dr park just told about the body you know it's where you stay your mind where you stay take care of it take care of it ankur wariko had put up this reel which really touched me the other day 
he had said that you know in his 20s one mistake that he made was he did not treat his body properly he ate anything whenever he want however his end words was i was treating it like a dustbin honestly i went back and i said oh my god this is what i did i have realized that much later so all the youngsters out there who are still in their 20s who are still there guys you have so much information today you guys can capitalize i wish i would have capitalized you have experts today coming out on things like instagram other platforms and talking make use of it listen to them and if you need again i would say if you need help seek help there's no shame in that that's what i would Absolutely. say towards the end dr parak this has been one of my most amazing talks i have really enjoyed i see shai sai see so my much. colleague has already said has given a thumbs up to that so yes i see this has been a wonderful experience and i look forward in collaborating with you in many more talks because there's so much Absolutely. we need to learn from you we need to communicate to the world out there dr parak i thank you for your time i thank you for doing this guys thank you, thank you be... for having me over it was a pleasure and it was one of my best talks i have really enjoyed i don't know how time flew okay i'll be honest on that and guys i'm going to be reposting this on my wall it will also come on dr parak's wall you guys can like it view it if you if you have any comments please do share if you want us to talk on something somebody had actually asked us dr parak how to get rid of anxiety okay so i've done a lot of talks on anxiety so i mean uh, i'll just say some of the things that you can definitely start doing okay because uh, i've actually had a lot of talks so even i have a lot of igtvs which are posted a lot of content on posts which are posted and because anxiety is something that i deal with day in and day out so first first of all uh, there are you know rational approaches that you can actually start learning mindfulness uh, recognizing your thoughts becoming much more aware journaling these are some of the things you can start doing grounding is something that i always recommend so a good grounding technique is to use the 5 to 1 technique so five things so supposing you're getting a lot of anxiety just come to the moment and you know look at five things that you can see in front of you four things that you can touch three things that you can hear two things that you can smell and one thing that you can taste a 5 to 1 technique is one of the best techniques that works very very quickly you can also do a sensory stimulus so they take ice in your hands and just maybe rub it around your neck you you actually come back to the moment from the shock that works controlling your breathing is very very important learning how your breath affects your thoughts and uh, uh meditation there's a lot of things i mean i i in this a very short span of time to tell you but there are a lot of things you can do but grounding and breathing are two things which i really recommend along with journaling three things if you start doing in your life trust me it's going to make a lot of difference and i would advise you can look at dr parak's handle i am sure you'll find reels you'll find information because every time i go through it i get in doubt oh my this is nice he puts up some of the most amazing things which you know you take back a learning from so go through it i'm sure you not only on anxiety if you have any other issues you will at least find a solution to it at least you'll get knowledge on it so do do you know invest the time on going through his handle which will be really worthy of time so as i was saying Thank guys you. i'm going to be reuploading this video on our handles please go through it if you like it please like it do share it with your friends do share it to people who you know require it do comment do tell us any topics you want us to talk on and if you have any queries any things that you want us to communicate with you can dm me you can dm dr parak we are always there to help you we are very responsive on our chat so we are always there for you guys okay Absolutely. so at the end i would again say dr parak thank you so much thank you so much for coming it's been thank a you. pleasure and thank you everybody for tuning in do follow dr parak do follow me i'm going to be on again tomorrow talking on uh, nutrition and keto and lot of other things i'm going to be coming up with so stay tuned so guys it's dr parak and hustling muscles signing out have a great evening ahead thank you again dr parak thank All you right. so much bye bye thank you so much goodbye